I formally and unreservedly apologise for police actions. For the failures of my department to prevent these passings where they could have, I am deeply sorry. I apologise uh, for the ongoing um, impact and suffering. The harm and injustice that should have been avoided, could have been avoided. Uruk heard seven formal apologies from ministers, senior public servants and the Chief Commissioner of Victoria Police for the historic and ongoing harm caused by Victoria's child protection and criminal justice systems against our people. Their words were important, but the real test is the actions they take now. Self-determination. It's not just a framework. It's not a reform framework. It's what our people have long advocated for giving Aboriginal people genuine control of the issues that affect our lives. Giving us the power, the resources and the authority to design a system that enables our children and families to thrive. You look for justice. Reporting to Victoria's child protection and criminal justice systems makes 46 recommendations for reform, including clarifying and strengthening the Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities Act. These recommendations also include negotiating through treaty new, dedicated legislation developed by First Peoples for the safety, well-being and protection of First Peoples children and young people. Creating a new independent police oversight body to end the practice of police investigating police complaints. Changes to bail laws that go beyond amendments recently introduced to Parliament to stop people being unnecessarily imprisoned. Raising the minimum age of criminal responsibility to 14 years without exceptions. Prohibiting routine strip searching in all Victorian adult and youth prisons. It's been heartbreaking over the past few months to hear story after story of how our child protection system is failing our Aboriginal children. Victoria is removing children from Aboriginal families at the highest rate in this country. Our people are dying in custody and our children are being taken away. How many, I wonder, even just in the last few hours this morning? So I just see a lack of urgency. Mm. Will heads roll? Will KPIs be brought in? What will happen to make the department accountable for change? Human rights and cultural rights are legal entitlements. To see legal entitlements violated was shocking. Until this change happens, Injustice will continue. There has been some progress since Uruk started this inquiry. However, small steps are not enough. Self-determination and systemic reform are needed. This report must be a catalyst for transformative change. Now is the time for action. The report and a full list of recommendations can be found here www.yurukforjustice.org.au